Welcome to 5 Minute School. In today's video, we'll be talking about shock. Shock itself is a form of cardiovascular collapse, and in today's video, we're going to be uh, talking about several different types of shock. So, we'll be classifying it, and we're going to be talking about how shock um, actually works. So, it's a form of cardiovascular collapse, and it occurs due to the acute reduction of circulating blood volume and inadequate perfusion of cells and tissues. Now, if these two mechanisms are, are uncompensated for, uh, it'll lead to impaired cellular, cellular metabolism and death. So, we can classify shock into the following different types. So, we have hypovolemic shock, which is where we have inadequate circulatory blood volume, and this can be due to loss of red blood cells and plasma via some form of hemorrhage or fluid or plasma loss. And this can happen through burns or through vomiting. Another type of shock is cardiogenic shock, and this is um, a form of acute circulatory failure with a sudden fall in cardiac output from acute diseases of the heart without any reduction of blood volume. So there's some kind of issue with the heart which is causing a reduced cardiac output while making sure that the volume of blood isn't lost. So there is a normal volemia, but we have an issue with the heart which is reducing cardiac output. So examples of this can be myocardial infarction, ventricular rupture, arrhythmia, and cardiac tamponade, which is a form of pressing on the heart. Now, we also have septic shock, which is due to severe bacterial infections or septicemia, and we have uh, immune system activation and severe systemic inflammatory response to infection. So gram-negative septicemia, also known as endotoxic shock, is more common than gram-positive septicemia or exotoxic shock. Now, the last two points, we have traumatic shock, and this is where we have shock uh, from trauma due to hypovolemia, but after the control of the hemorrhage, there is still loss of plasma to the interstitium of the injured tissue. And lastly, we have neurogenic shock, which is due to the interruption of sympathetic vasomotor supply. So that's all I'm going to discuss in today's video. Thank you very much for watching.